Welcome to episode one of Demystifying the Organ. I'm Scott Davis. The organ is an amazing instrument. It puts the resources of an entire orchestra into the hands of a single musician. In this episode, we'll talk about the terminology of the various parts of the organ and how they work together. These terms will be the foundation for all of the future videos in this series. Let's go. Unfortunately, the large number of controls of many types can make the organ seem very intimidating, but it is very important to understand the distinction between complex and complicated. Complex is defined as composed of many interconnected parts. Organs are absolutely complex machines. All organs, even electronic ones, have many parts. Pipe organs in particular have many thousands of individual parts that have to work properly in order for music to be created. Complicated, by contrast, is defined as being difficult to analyze, understand, or explain. In fact, a lot of work goes into the way organs are designed and organized, and most organs have the same basic components. While the organ is difficult to master, understanding the parts and what they do can allow anyone to begin learning the organ especially if they have experience with the piano and some basic music theory knowledge. And that's why we're starting with basic organ terminology. This is an organ console. The organ console comprises all of the controls that the organist uses to interact with the organ and play music. Of course, not every console looks the same. Console designs vary greatly, depending on the company building the organ, when it was built and where, and the individual preferences of the customer. But no matter how large the organs may be, all of them have the same basic components, just in different styles and quantities. Every organ has to have at least one keyboard for the organist to play. Keyboards on an organ come in two basic types. Keyboards that are designed to be played with the hands are called manuals. Most organ consoles have at least two manuals, and many have three or four. Some, like the Wanamaker organ shown earlier, have as many as seven. Most organ manuals have 61 notes and are laid out the same way as a piano keyboard. Of course, playing the organ can be a very, very physical task, thanks to the other kind of keyboard designed to be played with the feet. This is called the pedal board. Most organ pedal boards have 32 notes and are also laid out the same way as a piano keyboard. One of the things that makes organs look so complicated and overwhelming is the sheer number of controls available to the organist for changing the way that the organ sounds. To the left and right of the manuals of this organ, we have the stops. Most of the stops turn on a specific voice or sound that the organ can make. The stops are organized into divisions, sets of stops, that play on a specific manual. In this organ, we have a total of five divisions, pedal, swell, solo, great, and choir. Similarly, there are five keyboards in this organ from top to bottom. Solo, swell, great, choir, and the pedal board. Therefore, the stops in a single division play on that division's dedicated keyboard. The organist also has at his or her disposal a set of couplers. Couplers, when activated, allow the organist to play the stops assigned to a specific division on a different keyboard, allowing additional flexibility. We'll be discussing couplers in more detail in a future episode. The organist also has tools that allow him or her to store sets of stops into memory for easy recall at a later time, especially during a performance. These are typically accessed by thumb pistons located underneath each manual. Our demonstration organ has both general pistons, which control stops across the entire organ, as well as divisional pistons, which control the stops of a single division only. In addition to the thumb pistons, most organs have toe studs that provide similar functionality that can be easily hit with the feet if the hands are too busy. While we're down here, 
let's take a look at the expression pedals. Most organs have a general crescendo pedal, typically at the far right. The crescendo pedal can be thought of as the organ's gas pedal, as pushing it in incrementally adds stops until the organ is at or near full organ. The other pedals are called swell pedals, as they control the volume of the stops of a single division. On a pipe organ, some divisions have their pipes enclosed in a box with shutters. The shutters open and close when the pedal is moved, thus changing the volume of the sound. As you can see, the organ console is very complex, but very well organized. While sitting at the console, the organist has a lot of control over the sound that the organ is producing at any time. Did you know that the organ is the source of a very well-known phrase? On an organ with draw knobs, such as our example organ here, stops are activated by pulling the knob outward. When all stops are active, the organ is said to be at full organ. This is the origin of the phrase, pulling out all the stops. I hope you enjoyed learning about the terminology of the organ. In the next episode, we'll be talking about the four basic sounds of the organ. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.